Hello everyone, this is Brendan Strains here. Today, I'm going to be starting off a list, or should I say a series that you guys have been recommending for me to do, and that is called the Steam Locomotives of the Great Northern. How it's going to work is that every episode, we're going to be talking about the history of a class of steam engine that was on the Great Northern. To kick off episode one, we are going to be doing the largest locomotives on the Great Northern. So here it is. Steam Engines of the Great Northern Episode 1. The R-Class 28882 Mallets. In the 1920s, the Great Northern needed a locomotive stronger than their 26AOs and their 28AAOs. Both classes of mallets were beginning to struggle on the heaviest freight trains on the Great Northern. To solve that problem, the Great Northern ordered four 2882s from Baldwin in 1925, and they were numbered 2030 to 2033, known as the R1s. With a boiler pressure of 210 psi, 63 inch diameter driving wheels, and massive 28 by 32 inch cylinders, these brutes could produce 142,165 pounds of tractive effort. Since the Great Northern was very satisfied with their engines, they later built another 10 engines in 1927, this time at the Great Northern's Hilliard Shops in Spokane. The other 10 locomotives were numbered 2034 to 2043 and were also classified as R1s. The difference between the Baldwin engines and the Hilliard engines was weight and boiler pressure. The Baldwin engines weighed 899,000 pounds, while the 10 engines from Hilliard weighed 916,000 pounds. The new engines also had an increase in boiler pressure of 225 pounds per square inch, which gave the profound effect of giving the engines 152,320 pounds of tractive effort. Still very impressive, but two years later, the Great Northern took the design to the max. From 1929 to 1930, the Great Northern built 16 more engines classified as R2s. Compared to the other two classes of mallets, they had 10,000 pounds more tractive effort than the home-built engines, and 20,000 pounds more than the Baldwin engines. This was due to them having an even higher boiler pressure of 240 pounds per square inch. The engines also weighed more. With the engine and tender, they weighed 1,003,530 pounds. Being 118 feet long, the R2s were the largest locomotives built from the west of the Mississippi River and were the most powerful steam engines in the world at the time in terms of tractive effort until the Norfolk and Western came out with their Y6s in the 1940s. These 30 mallets were used handling heavy freight trains between Minot, North Dakota to Spokane, Washington. In 1947, the R2s would later have their cylinder volume decreased from 28 by 32 to 26 by 32 which also decreased their tractive effort to 151,000 pounds. Sadly, both classes of locomotives could not survive progress. The R1s retired between 1952 and 1954. The R2s were retired between 1954 and 1957. By 1962, all 30 locomotives met the torch. Before I end the video here, I just want to give a quick announcement that Brendan's Trains now has a Discord server. I'll be putting a link in the description below. Anyways, that's it for now. This is Brendan's Trains, signing off.